For Jacob Johnson, playing football in America is a dream come true. As a native of Stuttgart, Germany, Johnson has had quite the journey to reach his goal. My dad, he was in the army for three years back in the 90s, and he just decided to stay in Germany. And at the time, my parents, they weren't, they weren't together. He went uh, back to America, and by the time I was seven, we went to America to visit my family over there, and uh, somehow my parents got back together, and a couple years later, they got married, and now I have two little sisters. They are two and one year old. It wasn't long until the energetic Johnson was given the opportunity to play sports. So I started out with soccer like every German kid and then uh, changed to basketball. Then I did basketball and wrestling at the same time. Then I added swimming, but none of those sports really worked out. And um, after my first football practice, I just knew that I was going to stick to that sport. In Germany, everybody dreams of playing here in America because uh, in Germany, like football is really not that big. You really dream of like coming to America and playing against the best and all that. I wrote an email to every single FBS defensive coordinator and linebacker coach in, uh, in America, like every single school. I, can, I got proof and I got like four replies or something, but they basically all said, um, come to America and prove yourself over here. So um, I decided to call my aunt. Uh, she stays in Jacksonville, Florida, and ask her if I could stay with her for like a year or something to, to play in high school. Two weeks later, Johnson was on a plane to America. With such short notice, it was a good thing he had already learned English. The, the biggest uh, improvement in my English came through Family Guy, because I watched every single episode. It always takes one year for the new season to get translated into German, so if you want to have the new episodes right now, you got to watch them in English. Johnson went from a hard hit and run style of football to American football, which he says is a smarter game with more patterns and strategies. But the transition wasn't hard on him. I actually thought that like, I had kind of an advantage, especially like in high school, because uh, in Florida it's all about speed. But um, since I was like, used to hitting like, real hard, I think that gave me kind of an advantage. Now proving himself on American soil, Johnson drew some interest from college scouts. And he was so impressed by Tennessee's confidence in him that the decision to be a ball was an easy one. I was in school and um, I talked to Coach Tigpin uh, earlier earlier in that week and he said he's going to come out to see me. They have like a little um, office for the athletic stuff. Uh, he was waiting there for me and I, I walked in the room and he, he just said, he went like, wow, that's a no-brainer. And then he called Coach Jones and said, yeah, we, we're going to offer him a scholarship. I did not know like what to say because I, I just walked in the room. I was expecting him to just like talk to me like some other coaches and then leave and I don't know, maybe hear from him some, somewhere down the line, but that was, that was crazy because he just offered me on the spot. After spending that Christmas holiday vacation writing 442 emails to every single FBS school in America, Johnson has finally found a home in Big Orange Country. This is such a life goal come true, like, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's really, uh, when I, the, the first time I got in the locker room, I was just like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't speak a word. I, I, it was hard to breathe. Like it's, it's just unreal to me. For UTSports.com, I'm Danny Kleppinger.